What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W, and I'm here on another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. This time around, we're talking about the top three fantasy options when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles for 2022. And how can you talk about the 2022 Philadelphia Eagles without talking about Jalen Hurts? This guy... He's going. He was the QB eight last year, going about the QB five, QB six, depending on some, where you're looking at ADP. And and everybody seems to be buying the Jalen Hurts Kool Aid. I mean, I heard a lot of people talking about the Philadelphia Eagles winning the division. Um, what Jalen Hurts can do with his legs when you're looking at an eleven of nineteen starts, this guy rushing for fifty five or more yards, and you absolutely love. Uh, 21 fantasy points per game in his 2021 starts. The the rushing upside is really what what drives the needle here. People want to talk about the passing inefficiencies and things of that nature, but in 2021 they started out pretty pass happy with with Jalen Hurts. Um, 30 or he had 35 or more passing attempts in five out of the first eight games. Only had two of those the rest of the season. But when they're bringing in a guy like A.J. Brown, you can believe that maybe Nick Sirianni wants to get back to that pass-happy approach. So I think getting Jalen Hurts in your drafts is a slam dunk option. Let's talk about that guy they brought in, A.J. Brown from the Tennessee Titans. He was unhappy that Tennessee Titans were, were treating him like like he wasn't the alpha wide receiver that we think it, that we know that he is and injury riddled 2021 season maybe that had something to do with it but I think he'll come in rejuvenated you're talking about one of the most efficient wide receivers at the position when you're talking about fantasy points per route run number two number two and number seven the past three years of course number seven being in that injury riddled season last year but I think he comes in and makes an impact immediately this guy in the first two seasons in the league a thousand yards eight touchdowns really paying really paying it off I think Jalen Hurts throwing a deep ball will help him out a lot and definitely using him in the screen game maybe similar to how Debo Samuel was used I think will will help pay off some dividends he's going as the wide receiver 13 I think this guy finishes as a wide receiver one this year and then lastly, we got to talk about another wide receiver on the team, Devonta Smith. This guy is a rookie. He came in and was really doing it all. You're looking at a 22% target rate. Matt Harmon loves this guy. You're looking at his reception perception profile, and there's only two routes there where he doesn't have a 70% uh, success rate. Um, he had some bad touchdown luck in 2021 as well. Some touchdowns that were called back could have really changed his his outlook for people this year. You're seeing him go as the wide receiver 36 at the bottom tier of what a wide receiver three would be. I think that if Jalen Hurts is going to be pass happy, that, that only helps bringing in A.J. Brown, I think only helps Devonta Smith's numbers, and we should really be treating him uh, closer to the wide receiver two range than we are. Guys, that's going to do it for this edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. I appreciate you guys rocking along with us all season long. Ryan Williams, you can find me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. I'll catch you guys next time, and we can't wait to kick off the season with you. Peace.